In the previous video, we talked about how we measure the standard electrode potential using the hydrogen electrode and we talked about the example of zinc and copper. In this video, we are going to be talking about something called the electrochemical series. So the electrochemical series is an arrangement and I know the table is significantly longer in your textbook. But these are the essential things that I wanted to talk about in this video. So an electrochemical series is basically the arrangement of the um, various electrodes in the increasing or in the increasing order of their electrode potential value or their standard electrode potential. So in the center, in the the most important one over here is the hydrogen electrode, the standard hydrogen electrode. The potential for the standard hydrogen electrode is zero. And this, all of the others are in comparison to the standard hydrogen electrode. So the first, the following things are the ones we're going to be discussing about. The first case is where the electrode potential, the standard electrode potential of the electrode is greater than zero. That is, we're talking about this guy. So above the hydrogen, so you have Cu2 plus gives rise to Cu, or, you know, takes in two electrons, gives rise to Cu. You have the electrode potential as 0 0.34. So it's higher than zero, right? So in this case, what is what we know is that this reduced form is more stable than the oxidized form. Okay, so this particular form is more stable than the oxidized form. This means that this tends to get reduced because it's more stable. Remember, in chemistry, it always likes to move towards a more stable state. Okay, it hates it when it's less stable. So, the the since the reduced form is preferred, it likes to undergo the process of reduction. And because it likes to undergo the process of reduction, these make good oxidizing agents. This is because they themselves undergo reduction, which means, so if it's connected to the standard hydrogen electrode, it will itself get reduced and it will help the oxidation of the standard hydrogen electrode to take place. And because of that, it's a good oxidizing agent. Okay, so that's case one. Case two is when the electrode potential is less than zero. I'm talking about this guy. So zinc, we know up until now, it always tends to undergo oxidation. Or like when we talked about the Daniel cell, we always would have it as oxidation, right? So if you notice, Zn2 plus plus two electrons gives rise to Zn and has a negative value of minus 0 0.76. That simply means that it prefers the opposite, okay? It prefers the opposite part to take place. And so the oxidized form is more stable than the reduced form. So it will undergo or it is oxidized, okay? And it's a good reducing agent. Okay, once more, I'll repeat it. So you have this particular electrode. So you have Zn2 plus plus two electrons gives rise to Zn. And since, excuse me, we're talking about the reduction potentials, right? So basically the negative sign over here is minus 0 0.76 implies that the opposite, that is Zn giving rise to Zn2 plus plus two electrons is more preferable, which means that this Zn2 plus plus two electrons, zinc finds it more stable than the zinc, the zinc metal itself. So it tends to undergo the process of oxidation. And so it makes a very good reducing agent because it itself gets oxidized. Okay, I hope that made sense. The next one we're talking, we're going to talk about is fluorine. So fluorine has the highest value in this table. It's um, like, like its standard electrode potential is 2.87. So it's at the top of the list. And this has the highest tendency that is 
फ्लोरिन हैज अ हाइस्ट टेंडेंसी टू फॉर्म दी फ्लोरिन आयोन इफ यू इफ यू रिमेंबर द पीरियडिक टेबल फ्लोरिन हैज अ गुड टेंडेंसी टू एक्सेप्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन सो दैट इट मूव्स टू दी इनर्ट कॉन्फिगरेशन राइट सो बेसिकली इट लाइक्स टू एक्सेप्ट द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड फॉर्म टू एफ माइनस सो इट अंडरगोज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिडक्शन सो एफ टू हैज अ हाई टेंडेंसी टू अंडरगो the reduction okay and it forms f minus so essentially here this part the reduced form is more stable than the oxidized form so this means that f2 becomes a very good oxidizing agent because it itself can undergo reduction okay um on the other hand if you think about it this way the f minus might not make a very good reducing agent because it does not want to undergo oxidation and similarly you have the lithium at the bottom so lithium has the lowest value of the standard electrode potential that is minus 3.05 it's the lowest so what do you think is happening in this case i'm passing for a second so you can collect your thoughts and if you have an answer feel free to you know write in the comments below basically what's happening over here is as i told you with zinc this reaction is not prefer preferred by lithium because of the minus 3.05 so what happens is it finds the oxidized form more stable so lithium is a very has a very high tendency to undergo oxidation so it gets oxidized so it prefers li gives rise to li plus plus an electron and this again goes back to the periodic table if you think about it lithium in its position in the periodic table has a tendency to lose one electron and it gets oxidized to get to the stable state so it undergoes oxidation to form the lithium ion and this makes it a very strong reducing agent because it itself undergoes oxidation right so did i yeah so basically we talked about the case where you have the hydrogen standard hydrogen electrode and you have above it the positive values which make good red which undergo reduction because their reduction reduced forms are more stable than the oxidized forms and they form good oxidizing agents and as you go these these make good reducing agents because they have the a high pos like a high capability of under undergoing oxidation so basically as we go from top to bottom the strength of red the strength of reducing agents increase and when we go from the bottom to the top the strength of the oxidizing agent increases okay because they have a higher so lithium in comparison to zinc will have a higher tendency to get red like get oxidized okay so because of that as we go down the series you have the increase in the reducing power and when you go from the bottom to the top you have the increase in the oxidizing agent power okay um and basically all of this can is pretty useful for us to calculate the um e not e not cell of a cell for example if we talk about daniel cell right these are the two parts that is zn2 plus plus two electrons gives rise to zn cu2 plus plus two electrons gives rise to cu okay there are two ways for us to write this first of all we can assume that zinc is the anode copper is the cathode so if zinc is going to be the anode it will be zn2 plus sorry zn gives rise to zn2 plus plus two electrons and i'm pretty sure we talked about this but that's okay cu2 plus plus two electrons gives rise to cu now the net reaction for this particular cell is going to be zn 
plus Cu2 plus gives rise to Zn2 plus plus Cu. Similarly, if we assume that the cath that copper is going to be the cathode, sorry, is the anode, we will have Cu2 plus. Oh my god, I need to stop making mistakes. Cu gives rise to Cu2 plus plus two electrons, and zinc will undergo uh, reduction. So Zn2 plus plus two electrons gives rise to Zn. So these are the two possibilities, right? So you have Cu plus Zn2 plus gives rise to Cu2 plus plus Zn. So in both these cases, we are able to calculate the E0 cell. So E0 cell will be equal to E cathode minus E anode. So E cathode in this case will be the copper. So copper is 0.34 minus E anode which is minus of minus 0 0.76 and this gives us a value of 1.1 volts minus into minus gives plus and basically you have addition taking place on the other hand over here copper is the anode zinc is the cathode so E cell equals to cathode that is the zinc minus 0 0.76 minus 0 oh sorry that's off the board 0 0.34 and this gives us minus 1.1 volts now the reason i actually did all of this is because over here you have the e cell e naught cell with a positive sign and in this case that you have it with a negative sign this negative sign means that this reaction is not feasible it's the opposite that is prefer so basically the electrochemical series is also helping us to calculate the feasibility of a electrochemical process so in uh, a lot of information is obtained from the electrochemical series uh, the electrochemical series consists of just the standard electrode potentials basically the ones that are compared in or calculated with respect to the hydrogen electrode you have the standard hydrogen electrode in the middle with the electrode like the potential of zero and then you have the ones below it which have a tendency to undergo oxidation and the ones that above it which have a tendency to undergo reduction. With that we're done with the electrochemical series. Um, in the next video we'll be talking about the Nernst equation.